Some time ago I was looking for some form of camera stabilization system and I bought one of these weighted units which is actually in a box down there going to go back to the person that sold it to me because it's bloody useless. Then I watched a bunch of um, YouTube videos looking for a three axes gimbal and I came across this one let me grab the box a minute <clears throat> here's the box hope you can see that all right but it's uh I don't know how you say that Fuji tech g6 plus well, it didn't occur to me at the time but the plus is a very important word because the G6 which is a slightly cheaper model will only carry a camera of less than 200 grams which basically means a smartphone because that's about it the G6 plus will do I think six anything less than 600 grams so the my vlogging camera which I'm using right now so I can't show you it of course it's 402 grams so it it fell into the ballpark real well uh, there's not much on the packaging oh there's all these QR codes let me spin around there's all these different QR oh, what's that light QR codes to download stuff for Android, Facebook and a bunch of stuff. Okay, so much for the box. Mm. Now it said it came with a rigid case, which I don't know. I wouldn't actually call that rigid, but it is well padded. I'm sorry about the camera dancing all over the place, but I don't want to open the case. The handle is wimpy, but most of the time it would be on the camera anyhow, so why would you worry about it? There's an optional extra that wasn't in the case, was this little handy dandy tripod, um, which comes in really useful when you're trying to balance the gimbal. It also came with a, I mean, extremely good, I mean, in this day and age from products from China this manual which is hardly a manual it's just a flyer but it's really well thought out and it's not in Chinglish it's very good indeed and there's a nice simple link to the website where you can actually download the complete manual now, you take this little doohickey out. Um, in here, there's a bunch of things like um, GoPro adapters, power cord, um, uh, GoPro screw thread, and little, um, you know, these little screws they stick on for. Um, well, I'll show you in a minute as soon as I can put this back in. Okay, let's take it out of the box. And what I was saying was it comes with a bunch of these little screws that, you know, go into camera bases. As with two of them. Now, the unit, you can see, if I could actually get my camera and my act together, it's really nice. I mean, it's small single hand which some people complain about but you can always buy a two-handled grip for this and it has the three axes there's the one here another one here and I can't get to this one there it is third one here now if I power it up now it's probably going to go what because nothing's gam nothing's balanced on it Let's just see what happens. 
Oh, it doesn't like that very much. <laughs> so I'll shut that down. <laughs> it just went AWOL. Okay, now it's all powered off. But it has lots and lots of functions, most of which I don't know anything about yet. But we'll... Well, I've already posted a couple of videos I did walking around town and around the forum and so on to see how it worked out. Um, so far, I'm real pleased with it. I mean... Yeah, it takes a little while to balance. I mean, I tried this evening to balance a, a GoPro clone and wasn't having much success with that. But we'll try again tomorrow when it's when my brain is working a little better, I guess. But it really is a nice little unit. Let me see if I can show you all the controls. So this is your, oh, let me just move this a bit. This one here is your pan and tilt. And then back here, there's another one that does the, uh, not the zoom, pan, tilt, pivot. And here you have a function button that goes through all the Wi-Fi functions if your camera has a Wi-Fi interface. So you can directly control zoom, um, focus from this button by just selecting through the functions. Um, but of course my cheap little vlogging camera, the one I'm using right now, doesn't have all these bells and whistles, which never mind. It really does do a nice job. They say it's splash proof. Well, I'm not quite sure about that because here is the USB port and it has this little rubber plug that nine times of ten just falls out. So that's really not splash proof, is it? Anyhow, that's it so far. We'll try and get into a little bit more depth maybe on the next video where I'll actually balance this particular camera onto it using obviously additional camera. Alright, bye.